so um yes um that's ready in sorry i'm trying to fix my camera i've not filmed down in my living room for so long but i'm like i can't be bothered going upstairs honestly and like trying to gut and tidy my filming space upstairs because we have a ton of furniture waiting to be unpacked because we're still doing up our room so i mean my proper filming space still isn't ready and i promise it will be i'll have my tripod set up i'll have my lights my proper camera not this crappy one all set up really really soon i just have more furniture to unpack and some decorating left to do so i'm sorry you're still having to put up with my terrible quality and angled videos anyway so yes anyway before we get into it hi again i'm tash mczombie um if you like this type of video keep please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you're new here hey hi um i'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe here to my channel would be awesome and yes if you're new here yes i am this i usually bat sit crazy weird person coming at you um oh sorry i just like come back from doing a teaching internship thingy today so i'm all like oh, i'm gonna start being a teacher next week boop, boop. anyway so yeah i guess let's get into it so first i'm going to start with what i got from the kind of like korean and japanese beauty stuff so i got this off yesstyle.com so starting here i got from holika holika a Butatama beauty sponge so he's a lazy egg i absolutely love him he's the background on my phone he's from Saniro, so he's like one of in like the kind of Hello Kitty universe. So here we have him being a little poached egg on some toast, and he's so cute. So I'm gonna open him up, but I don't want to because the packaging is so adorable. Um, and try not to destroy him because I promised Ivy she could keep the packaging, <laughs> which sounds really bizarre. But so he is a makeup sponge, and this is him here. So he has his little egg face and he's really squishy. So obviously I just took him out of the packet and immediately I can feel that he's really like squishy but not too squishy. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't know if I will use him to put my makeup on because he has a face and I feel weird using something with a face on my own face. Anyway, um, but yeah, so he's like a really good makeup. Like I like that he has like a grip. I'm going to pat the foundation in, there's quite a bit to do underneath, so I'm not wet him yet, so I don't know how much he expands or how good he is at applying makeup, but even if he's rubbish at applying makeup, he will look cute on my makeup desk. And I'm just going to pop him up here. Um, okay, so, and then I also got this. So this is the Multi Carry Balm, and it is a Sailor Moon. And I have forgotten her name because... I am absolutely terrible. I've not watched Sailor Moon in so long. I absolutely, I mean, I adore Sailor Moon. I've just not watched it in forever. So, yeah, this is a multi carry balm. Like, to be honest, online this looks so much bigger. Like, I thought it was going to be like the size of this piece of cardboard. Because it was like the Sailor Moon stuff was a lot more expensive than the other stuff. So, this is from Japan. The Gutatama blending sponge was from Korea. So I can't remember how much these all cost. I will try and link them all in the description box if they're still online. Um, if not, I'll find the receipt and pay how much they all are. So I'm assuming this is like a moisturiser. I'm assuming multi balm. So I'm guessing maybe you could use it on your face or your hands or like your lips. Let's open it up and see. But even though it's tiny, it is absolutely adorable. So it's definitely like a travel friendly kind of product. I mean, it is called a carry balm. So I think that's the whole kind of point of it is that it is travel friendly. Let's see if I can get it out this little plastic box. Ow. And not cut myself on the plastic. So you open it. How do you open up? Okay, so... This is it here, so I'm not quite sure. It looks just like a kind of like clear gel, doesn't have a smell. So I think, yeah, it's kind of like Vaseline, it feels like Vaseline. So I think it's just like a kind of lip balm. 
it is pretty cool because I mean I live out in Scotland and it's so cold and it's been so windy today and my skin and my lips are like ah uh, so sore so yeah that's it there kind of close up of it it's so cute and pretty my friends were really like they're coming like oh my god where did you get this I was like ha ha <laughs> um so yeah that's how it opens up and again it is like a kind of Vaseline type balm on the inside so I'm assuming it's a lip balm and moving on I have sheet mask so this one here is the blueberry skin food sheet mask um so this is the skin food beauty in a food mask sheet um contains blueberry so it firms and moisturizes so this was actually a free gift with purchase um because when i went to the checkout it was like fruit mask and i was like i didn't order a fruit mask um but it was a free gift of purchase i didn't get to pick what kind of mask it was it was just they i think they randomly selected it um but i'm quite happy with this i've used skin food um sheet masks before and they are really really good so i'm excited to use that and then on to the ones that I bought. So first off here, I have a Bulbasaur <laughs> sheet mask. So this is by Tony Moly, which is quite a big brand now. So Tony Moly is a Korean skincare brand. Um, oops. So the Bulbasaur sheet mask is for like pore cleansing. So I mean, I've spoken a lot on my channel about how I do have really bad acne. I have really bad skin and I'm honestly like trying everything and anything and gadgets and whatnot sorry my cat's like playing at my feet so this one's definitely perfect for my skin that and Bulbasaur is like my favorite Pokemon Bulbasaur and Tokipri and Meowth and Ninetales okay I have a lot of favorite Pokemons but Bulbasaur is definitely like my favorite like original starter Pokemon so I'm assuming the sheet mask looks like Bulbasaur. I have no idea because I've not opened it yet. But the Bulbasaur one contains Camellia Sinesis leaf extract and green tea. So that one's really good if you have clogged pores. And then I also got a Pikachu face mask. So this is also by the brand Tony Moly. Um... And this one is made with, this is a moisturising sheet mask, and this one is made with honey, and it's a nourishing and deep moisturising sheet mask. I don't know Tony Moly's, like, cruelty-free status, to be honest, Um, in case that was something you were wondering. I, off the top of my head, don't know when it doesn't really say, apart from it says, I love the earth on the back. So, yes, this cute, adorable little sleeping Pikachu sheet mask. You can see Bushemi running around in the back. And then I also got ah, another Sailor Moon product. I got a Sailor Moon sheet mask. The Chara Chan mask collection. Isn't she called Luna? Am I just making that up? So, this one is made in Japan and there is absolutely zero English on this so I couldn't even tell you the ingredients apart from there's pictures of flowers here so I'm not sure if that it has some sort of flower in it but either way and this one definitely the sheet is the character and it shows you on the front so really really excited about this one and then the last sheet mask I got was a Marge Simpson sheet mask. Again, I saw Bunny um, unboxing these on another video. And that's how I knew about the kind of Simpsons products. So this is by The Face Shop. And the Marge one is a medium size. So they went in different sizes. There was a Marge, a Homer, and maybe a Lisa. So I'm assuming Lisa or Maggie is small, Marge, medium, Homer, large. Um... So I went with Marge for the medium size because I figured that's probably best for my face. And I absolutely love The Simpsons and I thought this was really cute. I'm going away um, this weekend with my mum and my sisters. We're going in a hotel for a night. And I'm kind of contemplating, do I want to share my cute sheet masks with my family and have like a girly night in this hotel? Or am I going to keep them all for myself? My daughter is insanely jealous of them. And I do have one more thing from them which is I think my husband ran off of it it is a Homer Simpson hand cream if I find it I'll add it in at the end of the video 
Um, so moving on to the stuff I got from Weirdo Agogo. So if you don't know who Weirdo Agogo are, they are an Etsy store run by Sig Neutron and I'm assuming, I think his wife, girlfriend, friend, she's she is beautiful um they run an amazing shop so if you don't know who sig neutron is he is a special effects artist if you've ever watched the show face off he was on that and he was also on face off all stars and he is me and my husband like are obsessed with that show my daughter is obsessed with it and he's our favorite he oh he's such a sweetheart and he's so insanely talented um, along with his friends and whose name I've forgotten and he has the most magnificent beard um, anyway I noticed when I was like stalking him on Twitter uh, probably that he had an online Etsy store sorry I just realized he's in the corner of the camera and yes I discovered the store I think last year a couple like yeah and I just never got around to it. I meant to order this stuff for Grant's Christmas and I completely forgot. And then I remembered for his birthday. So um, they're on Etsy. I will link them below. And if you can watch Face Off, I highly recommend watching it because it is such an amazing show. And it was so fascinating seeing all the work that goes into special effects makeup. Because I mean, I'm a writer and I do screenwriting and, you know... Uh, and I do graphic fiction as well and I like to draw everything because believe it or not I did I did do a degree in art not that you could tell because it was so many years ago and I forgot everything um you know so I mean as a writer I just obviously focus on the writing but it's so fascinating seeing everything that goes into it and I'm I'm such a nerd when it comes to movie stuff <laughs> um but definitely go check them out and I ordered this amazing stuff from their store which I'm going to rewrap for Grant when he comes home from work. I had to open it up since it is his birthday present. So, and it came all like beautifully wrapped. I've made a total dog's dinner of that. So, the first thing I ordered is the Rub-A-Dub Beezlebub Bubble Baphomet Vegan Shea Butter Soap in Banishing. So this is their packaging, which is absolutely amazing. It's so cool when they come in this beautiful like black box and even like all the ingredients and their details are on this really cool like label as well. It's so satanic and wonderful. And then it has all this really nice red tissue paper inside. And then we have the soap here, which smells amazing. It's really citrusy. Mm, oh my God. And here he is. Look at this. I know he's still wrapped in the plastic, so you might not be able to pick out all the details. So I might edit a bit later on to this video where I might film like once he's unwrapped because I don't want to unwrap him because he is a present. But he's like, the detail is insane and it's all like hand carved and it's like a hoof. And it smells so citrusy. So they come in different colours, different smells. And I chose Banishing because I thought the black was really cool. Grant is obsessed with like Baphomet and... Beezabubs and demons and and so am I. We all kind of are in this house. And it also comes Yes, it also comes with a little information sheet again on the awesome packaging, telling you all the different scents, all the different colours, all the different kind of demons, all that awesome information there. And I will link as I said, I will link them below. And then I also got this is so funny. This is the rub a dub beetle bub poo what thou wilt before before you go toilet spray spa date with the devil and this is a poo spray so you know how they got those like I was gonna say vaporized but that's from the film Envy which is an awesome film but you know like you see those fruit those adverts it's like spray the bathroom if you've done a stinky poo I thought this was really funny because toilet humor is always rife in this house and it's just I just thought it was really cool so it naturally eliminates bathroom odor before it starts using a special blend of essential oils and black magic to spray before you go it's paraben free phthalate free formaldehyde free uh, ba -ba -ba. so this is lavender ginger and lemongrass I'm allergic to lemongrass but it'll be fine 
Oh, it smells so good. This will probably has lemongrass in it as well. But yeah, so this is the packaging and this is the bottle. And even then, even like once we use this up, like this is just going to look so cool in our bathroom. I mean, our bathroom is like all black and sparkly and then blue. I don't know why we just didn't paint the whole thing black because the walls are black and sparkly. But we have like all like our soap dispensers, like a big skull. And we've got all these other like spooky stuff in our bathroom. So be perfect so i cannot wait till he gets home from work to give him this he is gonna freak out he kind of knows that i bought him stuff from the site because i tweeted like sig neutron being like i just ordered stuff from sorry my cat's looking at me funny um his store and he liked my tweet and i was totally fangirling because because i'm really sad um so yes that is my kind of skincare Hog, I guess. So it's like Korean beauty, Japanese beauty, American, satanic beauty. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call this video. Um, but anyway, um, sorry if this video has just been me going blah, 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 because I am just kind of pumped with adrenaline right now. And, I'm ve and my cat is distracting me. I don't know if you can see him. No, he's sitting like right there. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have used any of these products before, comment down below what you thought of them. Are they any good? Are you going to buy any of these? Do you watch Face Off? If you watch Face Off, comment below who your favourite contestant was and your favourite makeup because I would love to talk about Face Off with people because not enough people here in the UK watch it because I don't think it's really... I think it's on the sci-fi channel. I don't know. Anyway, sorry, I'm just rambling at you. I really didn't script or prepare this video, not that I ever do. But anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. I hope this video wasn't too terrible. Um, as I said, hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll have a better filming space set up for you guys and myself and my own sanity. But yes, anyway, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on my social media. I will link my Instagram and my Twitter down below. And yes, anyway, hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye!